done with the Leafs? Well, I, I don't know if it, it was a, the game ended up 6 nothing. I don't know if it was the sixth goal or <laughs> what, but usually if it was me, I was probably hanging around the blue line and uh, not, do, not playing well in my defensive zone. And uh, Randy Carlisle got the puck and he passed me straight up the middle. And I had a breakaway from the goal line in. And well, uh, let's, let's have a look at it, and we'll see how accurate wow, you were. Yeah. That's a pretty good memory. A pass to That's good. You were up there. There, there, there you were right? hanging around the blue line. I think it was, it was closer to the red line. That's yeah. the problem here. Yeah. So why wasn't I in my own zone? So that goal was on Canucks president Jim Rutherford, uh, and you weren't his only problem that night. You, you said he gave up six en route to Detroit being shut out, and I'm sure that's come in for some discussion between the two of you, is it not? Uh, a little bit. You know, I mean, uh, in in better times, uh, it would be it would be uh, something we brought up at dinner and and stuff. But I mean, uh, uh, you could see on that tape why I wasn't in the NHL all that much. My skating stride wasn't exactly what I'd call pretty. Uh, as now that I know that I'm a coach, I used to think I was a good skater back then. But evidently, uh, I wouldn't have liked uh, coaching myself. I would have uh, been. <laughs> pretty hard on me about non-defensive work. <laughs> <laughs> you never forget your first NHL goal, but you can forget where you lived.